Hi friends, welcome to today's video. So today I thought we'd do something a little bit different and talk about forgotten coloring books. Now, what a forgotten coloring book is, in my opinion, is a book that not only have you not colored in or never colored in or anything like that, but a book that you just either completely forgot you owned until you came across it or you haven't thought of in months or years and it just sort of pops into your head like, oh, that's right, <laughs> I own this book. <laughs> and I thought it might be fun to start a tag, which is hashtag forgotten coloring book, and, or books, I'm sorry, and I'm gonna show you my quote unquote forgotten coloring books. So, this first one you're looking at is Into the Wild by Daisy Fletcher. And um, this isn't a forgotten coloring book because um, I, when I originally got this back in 2017, I think it was 2017, um, I was really exci excited, <coughs> excuse me, and I really liked the art style. There's, you've probably seen this book on a few coloring book channels, but it's a really cool book. It has really cool art and stuff, and it's kind of like shaded, but the background's already colored, so... You don't have to worry about the background at all. And I did start to color something in here. The paper is really nice too. Let me see if I can find where I colored in it because I know I did. I only colored like one flower. Let's see. Nope, can't find it. Oh well. <laughs> but I was really excited to get this. And then I started to color in it. And I didn't like the way the pencils I was using felt on the paper. I think I was using Prismacolor. And instead of, um, you know, just switching to another set or something, I just kind of gave up on it and put it on the shelf. And honestly, I forget about this book all the time. <laughs> Like, um, I have two bookshelves, and one in my living room and one in my bedroom, and this was in the one in my bedroom, which is probably contributes to why I forgot about it, because I just don't, I'm not looking at that bookcase the majority of the time, but, um, I need to start coloring in this book, in this book, <laughs> because it's too pretty not to color in it. And it's not, for like I said, forgotten doesn't mean that you want to, like, uh, throw it away or donate it or you just don't want it anymore or um, you've never colored in it. It just means that, you know, you've literally forgotten about it <laughs> most of the time or all of the time. So that's Into the Wild by Daisy Fletcher. My next forgotten coloring book is Follow Your Dreams Artist Coloring Book Illustrated by Flora Waycott and this is Peter Peter Popper Press and I got this book a while ago um it has really thick paper it's single-sided and perforated and I have colored a picture in here but I've torn it out and put it in my coloring binder which I did a tour of um, earlier on in my videos I'll put a link so you can 
watch it if you want. But it's really cute pictures and really nice paper and it's, like I said, single-sided. And <laughs> I just completely forgot about it. I ordered this, I th I'm thinking like late 2016, right before the new year. And I ordered it at the same time I ordered my Prismacolor Norris Club pencils. And my pencils are not forgotten, but unfortunately this book is. It's a shame. The next book is Juliana Ferguson's Fantasy Kingdom. And this is a really cute book too. It has really cute art. And I have colored in this book. Let me find it. So this is the page I colored in here. And I colored it on January 10th, 2019. And I colored it with Amazon color pencils, white jelly roll, and looks like gold jelly roll, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, for some reason I just never colored in this again. Not sure why, because I really love it. <laughs> the next book is Stephanie Miro's Fantasy Forest, Wonderful Animals Coloring Book. And this book has really cool art in it too. You can see the back the ground is black, but it's gradiated, so it's not solid black. It has some shading to it. And this is on Amazon paper, but I don't care about that kind of thing, personally. And look, I colored one in here. <laughs> and... I think I did, yeah, alcohol marker and white jelly roll and I think the river is Amazon, <laughs> excuse me, Amazon pencils. Yeah, so see I did color in it. <laughs> I just completely forget about it all the time. <coughs> excuse me. The next book is where the Wildflowers Grow by Adriana Picker. And this book is so pretty. The paper in here is kind of got a lot of tooth to it. And it's, I don't know, it's interesting. If you don't like repeating patterns or flowers, this is not the book for you. <laughs> but, if you can see, I colored, started to color in this bird, and I was using black wooded pencils, and I never finished the leaves. <laughs> Look, he looks so good. I didn't even finish his feet right there. So, I've got to finish him. Watch out, honey. My cat's standing on my books. Watch out. Next coloring book is Coloring Mandalas for Adults by Bendon. You can tell this is a Dollar General book because it's got the yellow sticker on it. <laughs> I paid $3 for this. Um, and I have colored one in here, but again, it's I ripped it out because it's perforated. It's in my coloring binder. But this is a cool book. And I think I've said before that, like, I this is one of the older Bindon books where they still had, like, the smoother paper. I said it in my last video that I prefer this paper to the paper they use now. 
But see, it's pretty cool. If you like mandalas, you would like this book. It's got like different kinds of designs. <sighs> but yes, I never think about this book either. Oh, and my cat's on my books now. <laughs> the next book is Mysterious Planets by I. Kono. And I love this book. You can see it has a story and everything. It's so pretty. And I started this one and never finished it. It's the Planet of Forests, which is right up my alley, believe it or not. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but I love forest-themed things. So this book's really cool. And it also has this really cool thing. Um, oops. So it has a piece of <laughs> vellum right here and it makes it like she has a wreath and like a crown on her head and stuff and then on the other side is the goose or the duck I think it's a goose and when you turn the vellum it looks like he has the crown and the and the like wreath around him it's really funny and I have completed this picture a long time ago. I didn't date it, but I know I did it May of 2017, I'm guessing. I think, yeah, it was definitely 2017. So, yeah, a long time ago. I did this with Prismacolor Verithin pencils and... Um, Norris Club pencils, Stetler Norris Club pencils. So yeah, I, I like the way this turned out. I need to color more in this. Has really nice paper, I like the other books. Next book is Color My Sketchbook Characters by Bennett Klein. And this book, I just, you know, I, for some reason, I don't know if Bennett Klein even makes any more books or not. I don't think he does. But I love his grayscale, and I love his art. I wish he would make more books so that I could not color in them. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I would color in them. I've actually colored in this book. It's one of my favorite books of his. So I did The Singing Otter. I think it's Operatic Otter. <laughs> and I did her with gold watercolor paint and polychromos pencils. So everywhere you see gold like on her chest plate and her helmet, that's the watercolor. And then everywhere else is polychromos and this red right here is prismacolor because I was curious to see what how the prismacolor would look but it's too um too dense like it's too waxy it covers up the grayscale for me at least so yeah that's color my sketchbook characters and in keeping with that theme we have color my sketchbook wild by Bennett Klein and May Klein So, I know I've done Oh, I started to do this one So, started to do these birdies And I, if I remember correctly This is Tombow Erosion And I think I used a Dur Derwent blender pen to smooth it out. 
Yeah, on the flowers. <laughs> you can always tell uh, when you use the blender pen a lot because it kind of ghosts on the other side. On this paper, on create space paper, on like nicer paper, it doesn't do that. Okay, our next book is uh, Nadia Velaskova, Summer Wind. And this book is another stunning book. I know I keep saying that, but it's true. And I love her work. I follow her on Instagram. I have colored in here and I plan to color this so much more than I actually have. It's a little sad. But I did this girl on March 11th, 2019. And I like how she came out. I used metallic brush pens for the background and for the flowers, I used Prismacolor for her face. I used alcohol marker and her hair. Oh, and the flowers were based with alcohol marker too. And then I used Prismacolor to shade over the marker. So yeah, she's so pretty. And also by Nadia Velaskova is Magic Beauty. And I've colored in this one too. I started to do the nameplate page with marker and stuff like that. And I've done this page, which I'll do it like this. Can you still see it? <laughs> Hold on. So I did this with Kelly Art Marker and Polychromos. So her face is marker and the flower is marker and her hair and stuff. The leaves down here are marker but all the rest I think are Polychromos by themselves. Yep. Gotta love Polychromos on grayscale pictures. And I think I've done another one in here. No? No, that's not right. I've definitely done another picture in here. Ah, there it is. <laughs> so this is the same kind of thing where her face and her hair are marker, but these parts are colored pencil. <clears throat> and I did this on 12 6 18, so a while ago. But I really like how she turned out. And um, I like the way that the marker looks with the pencil in this book. Oh, and she's got, um, Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic Silver in her hair, too. I don't know if you can see that. Getting down to the end here. This is Crayola Signature Coloring Songbook. Lennon and McCartney, and this book you had to order from the Crayola website, or at least I did. I'm not sure if you can get it in the store, but I never saw it. I just saw a post on Facebook from Crayola, but it's so cool. It's like illustrations with some lyrics that like kind of go together. Money can't buy me love. When I'm home, everything seems to be right. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Eight days a week, 
I love you. Hold me. Love me. <laughs> Baby, you can drive my car. It's really, really cute. Believe in yesterday. And they're single-sided. So cool. And look, I started her face and I chickened out. <laughs> this was a, a couple years ago, but I would I would finish that now. I love Ticket to Ride, so I started that one. And we have two more. So this is Whimsical Wonderlands Coloring and Tangling, Volume 1, by Leslie Smitherngale. And this, this book is really neat. It's, it's interesting. So, you can see some of the pictures are a black background. Some of them are not. Some of them are just, <coughs> have a gradient. I guess they'd be called grayscale. But I don't know why I haven't colored in this one. This one has like a drop shadow underneath the foreground, which is interesting. Would really make whatever you color there stand out. So yeah, it's really neat. Like, see, <laughs> in this one, the little kid has a drop shadow underneath him or her. The last book is Botanical Wonders Color Art for Everyone. And I got this from Hobby Lobby for $6. I really, I think these were the ones you could also find at Walmart. Probably still can. But, started, this is like one of the very first coloring books I ever got. Like, Honestly, one of the very first I can remember. So I started coloring this and stopped. And I'm pretty sure I was using Prismacolor Scholars when I colored that. But yep, it's single-sided and perforated. And I never did anything else. It's just patterns and stuff. <clears throat> and at the time, I didn't, I like didn't know what to do with them. Like I didn't know how to color them or anything or really I was just scared of them but now I like patterns so I would definitely color in here the paper is really nice you can see like I have colored in here since or my mom has probably because there are two pa pages ripped out so I'm sure that's from my mom but anyways before I start to ramble thank you very much for watching and if you have forgotten coloring books in your collection, make a YouTube video or an Instagram post and tag forgotten coloring books. And let me see your forgotten coloring books. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.